Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make my baked blueberry lemon oatmeal muffin cups. Now, these baked muffin cups make the perfect grab and go breakfast because you make them ahead of time and then out the door you go. They're also awesome with a cup of coffee in the afternoon as a snack and absolutely delicious toasted with a shimmia of cream cheese or almond butter right over the top. So there's mm. lots of different ways to enjoy these muffins. So can I please get a big thumbs up for variety. Now, the best part is they could not be any easier to make. I'm going to start by preheating my oven to 350 degrees and then I have a 12 cup muffin pan here that I'm just gonna rub down with a little bit of coconut oil. You could also do this with butter or if you wanted to, you could also coat it with cooking spray. You just wanna make sure you have something on there so that the muffins don't stick. Then I've got a nice big bowl and I'm gonna start with three cups of old fashioned rolled oats, right? So the rolled oats is basically the oat groat steamed and then rolled out, which is why they look like little flat rolled out oats, just like this. Get that into the bowl. Then I have a half a teaspoon of kosher salt and one teaspoon of baking powder. I'm just gonna gently toss that all together so they're incorporated. Then we're gonna add the wet ingredients. So I'm starting with one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, but you could literally use any milk you have on hand. Then I have one cup of plain Greek yogurt. This is gonna add a little bit of protein to the muffin. Now, if you didn't do dairy, however, you could swap that out with either a non-dairy yogurt or some applesauce, and even swap one-to-one. -one. Both of them will make a delicious muffin. Then I have two eggs, two teaspoons of lemon zest. Now, remember, when you're getting lemon zest, you wanna zest the outside of the lemon just to get the bright yellow off of the lemon. Once you get to the white underneath it, you're gonna see that white pith between the peel and the flesh of the lemon. That can be a little bit bitter. So you don't wanna actually get the white pith. Just go ahead and zest the bright yellow skin on the outside. That's where we're gonna get the essential oils in the lemon and that bright flavor. Then once you've got the zest off, go ahead and squeeze the juice out of your lemon. And we're gonna use one tablespoon of the fresh lemon juice. Then for my sweetener, I'm using a quarter cup plus two tablespoons of monk fruit. Now, if you're not familiar with monk fruit, it is a plant-derived, no-calorie sweetener, which I'm choosing to use for these muffins because I do enjoy eating them for breakfast. I wanted to make a muffin that wasn't super high in sugar, right? And the nice thing about the monk fruit is that you can sub it one for one in baking when you're doing a recipe like this. So I've really become a big fan. If you don't have the monk fruit or you choose not to use that, you could really do any granulated sugar that you have on hand. A coconut sugar would be perfect. Perfect. From here, I'm just gonna stir all of these ingredients together and just keep on going till you've worked everything in and you have a nice thick batter like you see I have here. Then I'm tossing in my fresh blueberries. I have three quarters of a cup of fresh blueberries and one quarter cup of sliced almonds. I love how the almonds add a nice little crunch to these muffins. It's the perfect addition, perfect match with the blueberries and the lemon. Give that one more stir, just enough to incorporate the blueberries and the almonds throughout the batter. And then I'm gonna do my best to evenly divide this amongst the 12 muffin cups. Like I always say, it's better to fill them a little bit low and then go back and add more if you need to. This way we can try to get them to all be fairly even. Now, I like to think of these as a muffin on a mission. There's no refined flours, no refined sugars. So this isn't the type of pastry shop muffin that you're gonna find at your local coffee shop, right? This is a muffin that's really gonna give you sustainable energy and a muffin that you can feel good about eating, right? Really think of it as like a bowl of oatmeal on the go. That looks great. I'm gonna pop this into a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until they have set through and they're lightly golden brown over the top. Oh, and another great way to know when your baked goods are finished is when the kitchen starts to become very fragrant. That is a great indicator that you're just about nearing the finish line. Now, I was super excited to share these muffins with y'all because these baked oatmeal cups are always a huge hit in the C&D family. I've shared different flavors with you in the past. I've shared my banana chip, that one has been the most popular to date. I've also shared my apple cinnamon, and we also did the pumpkin spice. So if you guys wanna see other flavor varieties, I will leave those for you in the cards and in the description box below. Oh, these look 
perfect. You can see that they are lightly golden brown over the top, and I wish we had smellogram hair because they smell amazing. I do need to let them cool down a bit, and then what I like to do is I transfer them into an airtight container where I keep them stored in the fridge for the week. This way I have them ready to grab and go. Mm. 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 Right away, mm. I get that bright lemon flavor with the juicy blueberry and then a little crunch from the almond. It is the perfect flavor combination. And I love that they're nice and hearty as well. It's like a muffin that can really hold you over. Mm. This recipe would be the perfect addition to your meal prep. So perhaps if you're working on a six to start, you'll want to add this to the menu. Which reminds me, if you guys want to see some more six to start, make sure to let me know down in the comments below and or give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe and share this video with anybody else you know who wants to make healthy eating easy. And don't forget, if you decide to give this recipe a try, snap a picture and tag me on Instagram and or on Facebook using the hashtag clean and delicious so I can see all of the yumminess that you're whipping up in your very own kitchens. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. I really do eat like that when no one's watching sometimes. Or do I? <laughs> You'll never know. No, you do.